Madura Buri Ashram. கர்மயோகம் தியான யோகம் பக்தி யோகம் ஞான யோகம் 
அது மாதிரி ராஜயோகம் இப்படி பல மார்க்கங்கள் இப்படி பல மார்க்கங்கள் இருக்கும் பொழுது ஒரு சிம்பிளஸ்ட் வே ரொம்ப எளிமையா இருக்கணும் எளிமையா இருக்கிறத காட்டிலும் காம்ப்ளிகேஷனே இருக்கக்கூடாது காம்ப்ளிகேஷனே இருக்க இல்லாதது மட்டும் இல்லை எந்த ட்ரிக்கியாவும் அது இருக்கக்கூடாது ரொம்ப சிம்பிள் எல்லாராலையும் ஃபாலோ பண்ண முடியறதா இருக்கணும் ஆனா அதனுடைய ரிசல்ட் வந்து இந்த ஹையஸ்ட் இந்த ரிலீஜியனுடைய பர்பஸ் என்னவோ இந்த ஆன்மீகத்தினுடைய உச்சி மனிதன் எதற்காக பிறந்திருக்கானோ அந்த ஆத்ம ஞானத்தை கொண்டு சேர்க்கிறதா இருக்கணும் வழி சிம்பிளா இருக்கணும் லட்சியம் உயர்ந்த லட்சியத்தை அடையறதுக்கு அடைய முடியணும் அந்த சிம்பிள் வேனால அப்படி சில மகான்கள் வழி உலகத்துக்கு வழி காட்டியிருக்கலாம் அதுல சமீபமா இப்ப அப்படி ஒருத்த சுவாமி ராமதாஸ் அப்படிங்கிறவர் பப்பா ராமதாசன் அவர் எல்லாரும் ஆசையா கூப்பிடுவார் அவர் பிறந்ததோ ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எண்பத்தி நாலாம் வருடம் ஏப்ரல் மாதம் பத்தாம் தேதி கஞ்சன்காடுங்கிற ஊர்ல பிறந்தார் அதற்கு பிறகு அவருக்கு வந்து இந்த பகவான பார்க்கணும் இந்த ஆத்ம ஞானத்தை அடையணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு ஆசை வந்து டிசம்பர் மாதம் இருபத்தி ஏழாம் தேதி ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ரெண்டாவது வருஷம் தன்னுடைய குடும்பத்தை விட்டு கிளம்பிட்டார் கிளம்பி அவர் பாரத தேசம் முழுக்க சஞ்சாரம் பண்ணியிருக்கார் பாரத தேசம் முழுக்க சஞ்சாரம் பண்ணி அவர் போகாத ஊர் கிடையாது போகாத இடம் கிடையாது அப்படியே சஞ்சாரம் பண்ணும் பொழுது தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருக்கக்கூடிய கஷேத்திரங்கள்லேயே பூலோக வைகுண்டம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லப்படுறது ஸ்ரீரங்கம் அந்த பூலோக வைகுண்டம்னு சொல்ற கஷேத்திரத்துல தான் பப்பா ராமதாஸ் சந்யாசம் வாங்கிண்டார் அந்த சந்யாசம் வாங்கிண்டு இந்த வருடம் நூறு வருடம் ஆச்சு அந்த நூறாவது வருடத்தை ஆனந்தாசிரமத்தினுடைய டிவோட்டிகள் மட்டும் இல்ல யார் யாருக்கெல்லாம் பகவன் நாமத்துல இஷ்டம் இருக்கோ யார் யாருக்கெல்லாம் பகவன் நாமத்துல ஆசை இருக்கோ யார் யார்கள்லாம் அந்த பப்பா ராம்தாஸ் அவர் மேல பக்தி இருக்கோ அவர்கள் எல்லாம் எல்லா இடத்துலையும் கொண்டாடின் இருக்கா இந்த மகாத்மாவுக்கு என்ன பெருமை அப்படின்னுட்டா ஒன்னே ஒண்ணுதான் அவர் உட்கார்ந்த மணிக்கணக்காக தியானம் பண்ணலை பிராணாயாமம் பண்ணலை பிரம்ம விசாரம் பண்ணலை ஒன்றும் கிடையாது எப்பொழுதும் நாக்கில் நாம ஹிரதயத்தில் பிரேமை எப்பொழுதும் ஸ்ரீராம ஜெய ராம ஜெய ஜெய ராமா 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 அப்படிங்கிற நாம நாக்கள நிரந்தரமா அந்த ஆனந்த ஆசிரமத்துக்குள்ள போனாலே அந்த தெய்வீகமான சாந்நிதியத்தை இன்றைக்கனால உணர முடியும் அவர் காண்பிச்ச அந்த வழியே அந்த ஆசிரமத்தை தொடர்ந்து கிருஷ்ணா பாய் சச்சிதானந்த மகாராஜ் இன்றைக்கு முக்தானந்தா எல்லாரும் ரொம்ப அந்த ஆசிரமத்தினுடைய புனித தன்மைய அப்படி காப்பாத்தின்ற வரா அதுக்கு காரணம் அங்கு எப்ப பொழுதும் நிரந்தரமா ஒழிச்சுட்டு இருக்கக்கூடிய ராமநாமம் அந்த ராமநாமம் உலகம் முழுக்க பரவிற்கு இந்த நூறாவது வருடம் அவர் சந்யாசம் வாங்கிட்ட வருடத்தை நாம் எல்லாரும் கொண்டாடுவோம் சந்தோஷப்படுவோம் கொண்டாட்டம்னா என்ன நிறைய நாமம் சொல்லுவோம் நம்ம நாமம் சொல்றது தான் பப்பா ராம்தாஸ்க்கு நம்ம கொடுக்கக்கூடிய செலுத்தக்கூடிய ஒரு பிரணாமங்கள் இல்லைன்னா நன்றி கடன் அதுதான் அதனால இந்த ஒரு சமயத்தில் 
நான் என்னுடைய பரிபூர்ணமான நமஸ்காரங்களை சுவாமி முக்தானந்தா அவர்களுக்கும் தெரிவிச்சுண்டு இந்த நாமம் உலகம் முழுக்க பரவி எல்லோருக்கும் நல்ல மங்களங்களை கொடுக்கட்டும்னு பகவான பிரார்த்தனை பண்ணிக்கிறேன் ஓம் ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெயராம் ஜெய ஜெயராம் ஃபார் த பெனிஃபிட் ஆஃப் தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஃபாலோ த டெமிழ் ரெண்டரிங் ஜஸ்ட் synopsis has been made out ashirvachan given by his holiness sri muralidhar swami gal hare ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare initially we believe that this world is real or rather ever existent and then our experiences reveal its impermanence as we grow old our intellect and senses start losing their activity equity it is then that we realize the hollowness of the world before we try to know the world we should try to know who we really are why does the world seem to disappear when we are sleeping when we are given anesthesia where does the world go when we interact with the world through the senses the existence is experienced when the senses do not interact with the world it appears non existence this universe does not come to you and say here i am it is you who are saying that the universe exists a foreigner asked bhagavan ramana what is your philosophy bhagavan then inquired of him what is yours he said to see the whole world as vasudeva is my philosophy bhagavan responded what is the use of seeing vasudeva in the whole world and not in yourself if you see yourself as vasudeva whole universe will become vasudeva to you this is the supreme state a man is destined to attain to know that he is atma swarupa this state has been described as jivan mukti or liberation a state beyond birth and death all is one to attain this state there are so many paths path of jnana path of yoga path of karma all should follow the simplest path the one without any complications and the result should be to reach the highest goal atma sakshatkaram saints have shown the way to attain this goal one such saint is swami ramdas lovingly known as papa swami ramdas he was born on the 10th of april 1884 in kanyangad he was blessed with the desire to know god and he renounced everything on the 27th of december 1922 he started from home went on a yatra all over india during this yatra he reached a place in tamil nadu which is considered buloka vaikuntham the sri rangam at this holy place he adopted sanyas this is his sanyas centenary year therefore this is important not only for the devotees of anandashram but also for those who are devoted to the chanting of the divine name and also to those who are admirers of papa swami ramdas the uniqueness of papa swami ramdas is that his sadhana did not involve yoga vichara dhyana his only sadhana was to constantly chant the name of god with his tongue and have prem or love in his heart for the entire manifestation he constantly chanted om shri ram jay ram jay jay ram he said the name of rama is the name of the nameless person swami ramdas has shown a simple path for attaining the goal which has been authenticated by his own god experience even today when we enter anandashram we can experience the divine presence the path shown by papa swami ramdas has been trodden upon by puja mata ji krishna bai and swami sachidanand ji maharaj all of them are safeguarding the sanctity of the ashram this has been possible because of the constant chanting of ram naam going on in the ashram may the divine name spread throughout the world so every day uh, we are being blessed by mahatmas every day through bhajan we are reminded of the subservience to the almighty lord of the universe every day through pptts and so many other uh, tools we are being uh, reminded of the 
practical application of spirituality in our workaday life workaday life means family life professional life social life so that we are trying to bridge the gap previously you know we were having a comp- different compartments when we are involved in these activities we feel our mind is terming it as spiritual and after that it get disconnected as it were not that it disconnected in reality god is there but we disconnect or the mind disconnects itself from him and therefore we feel separate this is separate and that is separate so papa initiated this uh sanyas centenary program to bridge the gap never think that when you are handling your family life he is away never think that when you are in your office work or a various other professional activities he is away never think that he is away when you are involved in social activities he is very much with you all that you have to do is to remember him this is the strong message papa is giving to us elsewhere you know he clearly mentioned there is no div- divide between spiritual and material science both are the different sides of the same coin when we are at the static level as in before the individual gets embodied and even while get embodied to make it active the static aspect should be there and the moment we become an individual the dynamic aspect is there the basic needs of the dynamic is met by spiritual science the basic need of the individual inside who is subservient to that power that is made known through spiritual science so spiritual science and material science should go hand in hand if this is clear to us we will not separate spirituality from worldly life somehow this word has been put into our brain and that is why we feel we are getting disconnected with him in so many ways, as we keep on going deeper and deeper and deeper into this theme we will find a method by which this gap is bridged and all our thoughts and words and deeds will be in conformity with this he has facilitated so many opportunities for us to get ourselves fixed in this and we take it that this 5 6 days program is also a part of it as we see as we go through each and every one we find that papa wanted us to get it cemented in our heart that he is always there without him we do not have any existence at all every chapter you no know, every chapter he keeps on happening this subservience to the higher power at the same time jnana is necessary to know that he is all pervading the other one he calls it as para bhakti if time permits we will try to go through it this evening and now we will have one more additional uh, uh, program is not program the other day we distributed a book you remember Kate Ma and Lori Mama you no know, you can call them they came all the way from Seattle they have taken the pains to compile eh oh oh 50 50 for me 10 minutes the whole video will be running for 30 minutes so we will have 10 minutes 15 minutes now and the le- ba- the rest of the portion will can be otherwise ramnam will be disturbed and then the ba- balance can be shown in the next one 
uh, theme is important no theme is important we will have the uh, privilege of seeing papa also uh, in this video so the mother hamilton a highly spiritual uh, evolved soul she makes a mention about papa and the uh, devotees have been prompted to take up these videos stitch it together the words are authored by mother though it is rendered in the by their devotee so we will have this privilege we will have now 10 or 15 minutes and then we can have ram nam hari om hari om hari om pehla sathya இருக்கோ இப்போ வீடியோ வரும்னா இப்போ வீடியோ வரும் ஆ நான் போடலாம் ஆனந்தாஷ்ரம் மதர் அண்ட் ஃபாதர் ஹேமில்டன் ஸ்ட்ரிப் டு இந்தியா தீஸ் பிக்சர்ஸ் ஆர் ஆஃப் அனந்தாஷ்ரம் ஆர் அ போட் ஆஃப் பிளஸ் தி ரெசிடென்ஸ் ஆஃப் சுவாமி ராம்தாஸ் மீனிங் சர்வன்ட் ஆஃப் காட் He received his vision of God in 1926 after 2 years of sanyasi wanderings about India during which he had many wonderful experiences under God's guidance. The ashram was started in 1932 with one small building on a bare knoll infested by snakes and frequently visited by jackals and hyenas. Ram Das's devotees all over India provided the means and mother krishna bai or madaji meaning holy mother provided the effort and supervision to build the ashram to the state in which you will see it one of the finest and best kept such retreats in india thousands visit here each year from all over the world staying for an hour a day or several months the feeding of a thousand poor people on a feast day is not unusual Mother Krishna Bai never worries about the means or wherewithal to extend her charities. She says that is up to Ramdas. He puts it up to God, and God never lets them wait very long. Ramdas says they certainly keep that chap very busy. Ramdas's teaching is essentially very simple. He says, practice Ram Nam, Japa, and Bhajan constantly. That means keep the name of god on your lips and in your heart always he will take care of the rest Man. our film opens with views of the ashram compound and buildings constructed on a 6 acre plot surrounded by a 4 foot ornamental stone wall with a main gate and guard house to keep out animals beggars and other undesirables for the benefit of visitors not ramdas Ashram compound from the road in front. The dispensary and hospital, other buildings in the trees on the knoll. Meeting place under banyan trees, looking out to the main gate. Completed platform and circular flower bed, newly completed for Sanya stay meeting. the view from the platform of green valleys and brown hills with the arabian sea only 3 miles away swami ram devi amar mahima the main guest house The governor of Kerala state comes to spend 3 days in rest and conversation with papa. Flag pole and guard.
gathered to see the governor go up. The other side of the guest house, which was built by the Maharani of Hyderabad. The little pandol or bamboo and matting shelter is an emergency bathroom for the governor of Kerala state's visit. The front view of the Bajan Hall, its main building, with decorations put up for Sanya's Day celebration. A close-up of the Bajan Hall. Ram Dass and Reverend Mildred on the steps. Rear of the Bajan Hall. Office building. Kitchen and dining hall building. purpose in visiting the ashram was to spend time in the presence of a saintly man, satsang, as they call it in India. Ramdas was available at all times, but in the cool of the morning, afternoon and evening, he would come out and sit with his devotees and give us discourses on many holy subjects. At other times, he would stroll around the grounds. Papa talking to devotees under the banyan tree during Sanya's day anniversary celebration. Here, no? Lakshmi carries Sridhar to join Papa and group. Srimati Lakshmi Kautau Ramchari, a woman member of Congress from Madurai, shoes the fly. <laughs> Mother Krishnabai comes to join Papa and the group as they listen to Bhajan singing. Lal Chand, formerly of Karachi, Pakistan, before partition, leads the singing as he plays harmonium. Gopal plays the tablas. Subram and others sing responses and clap hands in time with the beat. Little Sridhar claps hands and sings too, as do the other children. Papa chats with two men visitors. Swami Ramdas, Swami Sachidananda, his chief disciple, and Sridhar off for an afternoon stroll. Activities around the ashram are many and varied. Sadhus and sannyasis come and go. Men who have renounced all worldly things and wander India, sleeping where night catches them, living in caves, forests, or ashrams, seldom staying at one place more than a few days, eating what is given them. 
At the ashram, they stay in a specially built sadhushala, or rest house for sadhus. The everyday activities and work is most interesting, and done by hand as it has been from time immemorial. Stacking hay, carrying water and other loads are some of the things we photograph. The people, especially the lovely bright-eyed children, are always colorful and active. Most friendly and hospitable, they did everything to make us feel at home. A sadhu arrives. Another one comes, with deluxe equipment of umbrella and fancy water pot. Singing, chanting and conch blowing were frequently heard from the sadhu shala. A handsome sadhu stops to chat. Some were very friendly, most very reserved. A group of sadhus agrees to some pictures. They put on formal clothes for the occasion. The markings on forehead, chest and arms are of the Das sect of Vishnavites, or servants of God in his aspect of Vishnu the Preserver. One stands in traditional penance posture. on a stack, you must first get it on your head. Okay. Uh, rest of the portion, we will uh, play. Huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Next time we, go. we can have Ram now. Please be here exactly at 3.30. Rest of the portion you will see. <laughs> it gives us uh, some idea about the old ashram, no? And where we are sitting now, this is the place where he is sanctified by sitting and giving satsang.
श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम प्रेयर फॉर वर्ल्ड पीस अडोरेबल प्रेजेंस दव हु आर्ट विद इन एंड विदाउट अब एंड बिलो एंड ऑल अराउंड दव हु आर्ट इंटरपेनिट्रेटिंग द वेरी सेल्स ऑफ आर बींग्स the who art the eyes of our eyes the years of our years the heart of our hearts the mind of our minds the breath of our breaths the life of our lives and the soul of our souls bless us dear god bless us dear god to be aware of thy presence now and here now and here this is all that we ask of thee this is all that we ask of thee may all of us be aware may all of us be aware of thy presence of thy presence in the east and the west in the east and the west in the north and the south in the north and the south may peace and goodwill may peace and goodwill abide among individuals abide among individuals as well as communities and nations as well as communities and nations this is our earnest prayer this is our earnest prayer may peace be unto all may peace be unto all om tat sat om om tat sat om om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram o beginningless and endless param pujya papa o beginningless and endless param pujya papa you are all pervading you are all pervading you have manifested you have manifested as the entire universe as the entire universe and you reside in everything and you reside in everything we pray for your blessings we pray for your blessings for the eradication for the eradication of all conflicts and fights of all conflicts and fights in all parts of the world in all parts of the world and for the best of all and for the best of all of peace and happiness of peace and happiness on one and all on one and all within and without within and without om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram universal prayer no need to repeat o lord of the universe o creator protector and destroyer of the worlds i come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee deign to bless me ever with thy remembrance o merciful divine master give me strength purity and peace thou art absolute power omniscient and omnipresent thou art seated in the hearts of all thou art all purity all goodness and all love thou art a veritable ocean of peace and bliss thou art the lover of thy devotees refuge of the helpless redeemer and savior of those who resign themselves to thee make me dedicate my life to thee and to thy service by thy grace may peace and joy always dwell in my heart thou art mother master friend and all to me accept me as thy child and servant grant me power to love thee with all my heart let whatever i do be a fitting offering at thy holy feet make me pure in thought word and deed i lay my mind at thy feet fill it always with thy remembrance let thy glorious light illumine my heart o sustainer of the worlds o kind and compassionate lord god of gods give me the divine vision so that i may behold thee in all as all make me ever feel thy constant fellowship may my life be guided and controlled by thee thy presence be ever with me in me and everywhere around me i beg of thee i prostrate before thee hearken to this heartfelt prayer of mine and make me thine and thine only forever and ever om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram aarti number 8 राम जय राम
सर्वदायोगम तुझा घड़ावा तुझे कारणी देह माझा पडावा उपेक्षु नको गुणवंता अनंता रघुनायता मागणे हे चियाता उपासने ला दृढ़ बाले भूदेव संतासी सदा लभाए सकर्म योगे वय घाल वाले सर्वामुखी मंगल बोल वाहे समर्थांचिया सेवका वक्रपा हे असा सर्व भूमंडली को जया ची लीला वर्णिति लोकती नुपेक्षी कदा रामदासाभिमा जा जा स्थली हे मन जाय माझे त्या त्या स्थली हे निज रूप तुझे मीठे वितो मस्तक जा ठिकाणी ते ते तुझे सद्गुरु पाय दोनी हरियो सतो मां सद्गमय तमसो मां जोगिर्गमय मृत्योर मां अमृतोगमय हरियो सचिदानंद पूर्ण ब्रह्म पुरुषोत्तम सब संतन पपाई की जय 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 गुरुदेव समर्थ ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम Jai 